Hey folks, welcome to another how to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at complex numbers and going between rectangular to polar form and then from polar form to rectangular form. And we're going to look at how to do this in this particular Casio graphics calculator. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we want to be doing here is we want to click on um, just go into the main menu of the calculator and we're going to go into the run menu. Now for the fourth, first example, I'm going to be working with radians and because I'm going to be working with radians, what I'd like to do is just click on shift setup and just double check that my angle is changed to radians. So there we go. We've done that now. And now all I need to do is I'm going to put in three plus four I. So I'm going to go three plus four and the I make sure that you don't use alpha and uh, what is it? The bracket, because that's a the actual I variable but what we want is the complex um, I and to do that we're gonna click on shift 0 and as you can see the shift 0 is where the complex number I is now we want to convert this into polar form so the way we're going to do this is by clicking on option and we're gonna get this little menu called complex which is F3 click on that and we're gonna get a, another set of menu here but we're gonna click on F6 to go to the next page of the menu and right here we should be able to see this little button here which actually says converting the number into polar form so we're gonna click on this and press enter and right now this is actually given us the modulus here which is 5 so this is going to be 5 sys and the angle is going to be 0 0.927 now, if this was a, uh, a nice angle, like say pi over three or pi over four, it usually does that. But in this case, um, I've kind of just made a difficult question there. And so that's why we're getting a very strange looking um, angle. But that's still um, correct. And uh, let's have a look at now going backwards. Now, if I want to actually do four cis pi over three, and I want to be able to convert that into rectangular form, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to exit this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do four sys pi over three in the calculator. So we're going to click on four. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and figure out what that sys value, sys button is. Because if you look at it in the calculator, you've got cos, you've got sine, and you've got the, the i. But you don't really have the sys. But instead, what we're going to use is we're going to click on shift x button because what that is going to give you is like a little angle um, so that little angle there is basically it's just another short form of writing sys and we're going to put in pi over 3 now we're going to put pi over 3 in brackets so we're going to put pi over 3 and we're going to close that so what we're trying to do is we want 4 sys pi over 3 and we want to convert this into rectangular form so we're going to go back to option go into complex which is f3 click on f6 to go to the next page and then we've got a plus bi which is we're going to convert this complex number from polar form to rectangular form and if you press enter we actually get two plus two root three i all right now trying to do this same examples but we're going to do this in degrees now to do this we need to click on shift setup and we're going to go down to angle and we're going to change it to degrees so now we've got negative 2 minus 2i so we're going to put that in the calculator so we've got negative 2 minus 2i so that shift 0 is the i button and we're going to click on again going back from the beginning option complex we're going to click on f6 for the next page and we're going to click on f3 for the polar form and when we do this we're actually getting uh, the modulus is 2 root 2 and notice how that little triangle is there like not triangle that kind of like that angle thing that basically is cis and we've got negative 135 now I might have missed this I think it did kind of have it in the previous example there as well that little kind of angle after the 5 that is just um, cis there all right so we've got um, from rectangular to polar now we're going to look at uh, polar to rectangular form and we're going to keep this in degrees so we're going to go into three and for sys we've got this little button that we've got to use with shift x and we're going to put in 135 degrees 
And once again, we're going to go into Option, Complex. We're going to click on F6 for the next page. And we're going from polar to rectangular. So that means we've got to click on F4. And once we do that, we press equals. And as you can see, the complex number is, uh, what do we got? Minus three root two over two plus three root two over two I. And folks, that pretty much covers how to convert from rectangular form to polar form on this particular Casio graphics calculator. Thank you.